you know, let me tell you two things. You don't need to pity for the wicked. Trust me. Because I know that we choosing ones, you know, we are so kind, we feel pity so much. And no one up there pity for us. No one up there even have a sympathy when it comes to us. Sometimes I do used to ask myself this question. Why is it that we are so filled with gentle heart? We don't have this heart, heartless heart. And you will find it di difficult to see a choosing ones who are rude, who are arrogant, who are brutal, who have a heartless heart. But yet people always take advantage of us. People always take us for granted. This is why I'm telling you, don't pity for the wicked. Because if you let them go, if you in perpetual start to pity for them because of what they are going through, they will still do it to others. You know what I'm saying? So this is why you should understand that don't pity for the wicked. But pray for them, for God to teach them in a harder way that they will learn a lesson to re that will turn them into re you know into what a, a automatic re you know revolution to to what to salvation so pray for them for God to teach them in a hard way that they, that will lead them to repent because trust me we have a lot of people today who are filled with heartless that it does not matter what you do, they don't care about your feeling. They don't care about what you are going through. They don't care about whatsoever you are passing through. They don't even care as long as they, they, they have that opportunity to use you to become great. You know, this is what I encountered in my life. Yes, trust me, this is the reason why I, I'm so, I, I'm so sometimes so how like this so filled with joy because i have passed through some certain stuff that i can never be able to explain i was so kind so nice so lovely loved the person even unconditionally but end up i would just be asking myself how do i grow to the point of loving someone unconditionally now ended up teaching me how not to love the same way like that? Because loving someone unconditionally can automatically damage some part of you. Because that's why I said, not coming to the point of loving what unconditionally. Not that I don't love, but not the way that I love that lead me not to discover whom I ought to love. Because there are people whom you accurately ought to love. There are people whom you ought to take serious in your life. There are people whom you ought to place second in your life because no one you ought to place, you know, first. You are the first. So you need to understand that karma is giving them what they deserve. And you don't need to do or to pity for the wicked. Don't you ever pity for the wicked. You know, I, I, I had the news that one of, our, one of our boss in where I do used to stay was arrested. For the sake of one thing to another, I look at it. I say, I say within myself, this is the beginning of what of him to learn a lesson. Because trust me, you have no idea how many people they have destroyed, how many lives they have useless, how many lives they have condemned in the with the fact that they want to become rich. So don't be deep for the wicked. Let them go through the hair and learn the harder way. Remember blessed.